Hello everyone, this is Don playing Minecraft uh, with the mod pack All the Mods 5. This is episode 14, and we are continuing our adventure in this world. Um, I attempted to make uh, Neomatic Craft to start with the mod, but I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, and basically, all I needed was to charge this um, uh, wrench. To connect these tanks because you can connect them with that wrench and they'll share liquid from the top to the bottom They're, they'll act like a single tank and this is milk and I'll show you in a second but um, <coughs> theoretically all I needed is air compressor the charging station and the gun itself but uh, I figured I'll do the chamber and maybe let it charge uh, you know get some pressure and I got it to half twice and then I messed up the ports and I had to imp op you know delete them uh, mine them and replace them in a different position and of course all the air or the pressure went uh, vented outside so yeah I'm not gonna play with uh, Pneumaticraft at the moment it's a very awesome mod a uh, very visually nice mod but um, I need uh, poly, oh no, ethylene, liquid ethylene to power the chamber with the liquid um, compressors because I have, um, I made the liquid compressors but lava is very inefficient and the biggest one is ethylene and I can make that with uh, mechanism so I figured I'll go into mechanism but at the same time, last episode we were doing a animal farm, and um, well, a industrial foregoing uh, farm. Oh, and I also made a uh, sleeping charm, which lets me sleep instantly, so I can save time. And yeah, I finished. It's not really all that. It, it there's there's an item missing from industrial foregoing. We, there used to be a um, mob grinder or something like that that would uh, have the capability to um, uh, kill sorry if it was too loud um, there was a um, grinder of sorts or mob slaughterhouse or something that would allow you to uh, uh, harvest only um, grown-ups right because you had like babies and stuff like that and I got used to that pres uh, method let's say and oh I did that uh, I did something bad um, apparently the process here It's too fast. Um, right. What I'm, what I was trying to say is that. Um, right. This is the farm that I did. I'm, I'm gonna get to my point in a second. Um, basically, I have two planter gatherers, plant gatherers that just are harvesters. They, they harvest um, full-grown plants. And I have a fertilizer that fertilizes all the way to the end, right? Because I have a um, uh, a big add-on. It's wider than it needs to be, but me, eh. um, it's easier than having two fertilizers and making another system to bring fertilizer to that one and so forth. So you enter through here. Underneath here, I have a um, um, uh, two plant sowers which basically uh, plant above it and actually it's easier if I show you this way right so I made a underground base well basement for the farm just for the cables and all that so plant sower it's a 
9 by 9 basically I believe and the same here now from the base from the system in my base I am bringing and exporting carrots in this sower and wheat and uh, seeds in this sower so it just plants wheat and carrots now from the base I also send um, wheat seeds and carrots for the animal feeder that basically feeds animals and um, makes them multiply and the sewer just gets um, sewage and essence which I believe it's like a liquid experience but I don't know how to use it yet in this version and another sewer there so I'm powering all of them on the bottom and um, the sewage goes into an ender tank with the color brown 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 and it's imported into these two compactors that basically are exporting fertilizer in the fertilizer so the sewage from the animals are s is sent here it's composted and we get fertilizer for our farm theoretically it's a self-sustaining system but apparently I, w I put that um, speed mod on on here and it's actually feeding the animals too fast and I'm running out of seeds basically and this should have priority to plant not to feed the animals but I don't know how to make that priority work so animals are harvested well not harvested there there's they stay here in this area the four of each animal uh, they're mature the rancher basically uh, milks the cows, shears the sheep, and I think it used to do feathers, but I'm not sure if it works. Maybe it was a mod or something, I don't know. I was hoping that it does uh, something with the pigs and the chicken, but it doesn't. And this um, iron grate from Quark basically is acting like a limitation for the animals. They're afraid to go on, on it. So it's a an easy way for me to walk around without having to put fences all over the place and I did put these fences here because the animals can actually walk on this edge and then over the, the fence so that's why I have fences all over the sides so the animal rancher is sending the milk into a tank that it's in my base that now you know where the milk comes from and the items into an ender chest with white 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 that basically just inputs it and in, uh, sends it into the system now the babies are automatically transferred by the animal baby separator into this area and there used to be like I said the grinder that would only slaughter the, the the mature animals but I it's probably not in the game yet or I don't know I, I can't find it so what I did was place a mob filter animal and uh, again there used to be filters for babies and there is filter for baby but there is no filter for mature for example uh, child mobs uh, slimes villager bosses I don't know there's a uh, name mobs Raid mobs, illager, I, I swear there's one. Hostile mobs, animal mobs, allows animal mobs, this is the animal mob. And child mobs, but it doesn't help me because I don't want to let the ch child mobs or to go through. I want the mature ones, so this is the animal filter, but it will let any kind of animal, right? It's not mature or child it's basically any kind of animal just goes through it but a redstone signal will disable it so I made the redstone signal uh, to disable it to make it solid I can walk on it no problem even if it's not enabled by redstone signal it will only allow animals to go through it but um, and yeah the sewer is basically exported into the tank both sides because I needed to place the power cable on the bottom 
and I have a um, timer on 1200 seconds, um, 60 seconds, not 600 seconds, sorry. For some reason, I, I used the one, I forgot to place one zero. Now it's 10, uh, uh, 600 seconds, so 10 minutes. Um, my theory is that the babies will be transferred here and they have 10 minutes to grow. You can look at a baby to see how much it takes for him to grow, but it's in ticks and it's, um, I thought it was a, a thousand two hundred ticks. That's why I used that, uh, um, number, but apparently I was wrong. Anyway, I'll just leave it at 10 seconds every, uh, every, sorry, 10 minutes, every 10 minutes, this will pulse and I couldn't get the signal to be inverted basically I tried and it was a bunch of cables here and a mess and to make it more compact without using redstone vanilla inverters I made this NOR gate which is I don't know it's just a on signal on one side and if it gets a signal on any other side it will turn off because I need to keep the signal on to hold the animal on top of this filter and when it's the signal is off that's when the animals are allowed to drop through so yeah basically every 10 minutes well i i thought it was any every 10 minutes but it's it was one minute maybe i was testing and i don't remember the animals will fall through the uh, mob filter into the conveyor area and into the player damage traps that will basically harvest them the ender hopper gathers items puts them in the chest and voila we get um, feathers uh, you know pork chop and steak and leather and you know wool and all that stuff mutton chop and all that so yeah this is just an underground basement for my farm so I can be more organized and not having to fill it up and empty it every time I want to change something so yeah I'm running out of carrots apparently um, for some reason the farm is slower than the feeding process and I might have to put a um, um, a timer on that feeder because I believe it's too fast. I'm running out of resources to provide to the farm, which should be the first, um, the first priority. But I can't, I can't set priorities on that chest unless I want to do it with some kind of cables and make the cable be longer or shorter to that, which is also an option. That I might uh, take into account because that is a good idea. I can export into a chest from my system the carrots and the seeds, and then from that chest use pipes to export into this, and then into the animal feeder. I don't know if I can somehow types exact mode on off on it. It is exact mode, but the exact mode doesn't mean it will keep one carrot. It just means it will probably use um, the metadata and all that. So in my case, this is way too fast. The range add-on I need, the efficiency is for using less energy, I believe, but I don't know how to limit, basically, the, the, the if I could keep just one stack of each in here, it would be perfect, but I don't know how to limit the, the functionality of this. I might try and use some kind of timer and see if that works in some way I don't know where I could put it though cuz 
I need to apply a redstone signal to it. And I might have no, I can't. Um, I don't think I can place it here. But if I can, I can try. Yeah, it works. So every 10 seconds, every, let's say, 20 seconds, right? And how do I change the... Oh, it doesn't... Come on, I can't change the... What? Hmm. So every second. It doesn't care whatsoever. Uh, I don't have a redstone control option on it. Great. Um, is there any other... Well, I have a feeding trough. this different feeding trough for quark and the ah this is from farming auto feeds okay auto feeds all right let's see if we can do this and if it if it works basically uh, I can't that's my last carrot which is really not that good the cows are constantly milk which is very weird because I believe they had like a time um, uh, a um, like the sheep do right it takes a little time uh, until they actually grow their wool and the, the cows had the same thing they had a little idle time or wait time to milk them but the rancher basically milks them constantly like everything is full I have milk for ages um, yeah so I don't want this anymore I need uh, the carrot uh, okay did it did it use it or what did it what happened? Where's the carrot? Okay. What happened to my carrot? It harvested. This is strange. Okay, I do not want you here anymore. Well, apparently, a Somehow I lost my carrot. Hey, guy. Are you selling carrots? No, of course not. Um, I believe there was a village nearby somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, so towards the sandy area. Um, we can make a bridge somewhere and take uh, lightning off for a ride. I was thinking of making a full pass all the way to the village, but um, yeah, that's a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. 
We have all the resources because it's a jungle biome, so we can make it out of uh, jungle wood, but you know. Wheat, wheat, me need carrots. Wheat, 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 wheat. Uh, come on, guys, I just want a carrot. Okay, books. Books are good. Carrot. Carrot, please. Give me a carrot. Hello? Anybody home? I can hear one. I know I looted this place, but um, hey, I ain't got them. Let's uh, that I know that uh, the village is looted, but I was hoping that I could maybe potentially find something that I left behind, and they might find a farm of sorts to actually get a carrot. I promise I'm not going to take all of them. I, I never take all the resources from a village, all the s uh, farm. I never empty their farms, but uh, wait, 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 no! Why no carrots? I did not find another village. My assumption, my. I believe that I did not find another village yet. With all my exploring. So, should we go across the ocean? Or should we explore our continent first? Um, thinking exploring our continent first. So, panda, panda bear. All right. I believe we also need some sand. So, um, I'm getting distracted I know sorry but this is hopefully for the purpose of me getting the farm done enough sand for the moment uh, I found this bamboo whatever it's called uh, overgrown cliffs oh no bamboo jungle hills I found it in a previous save I believe before my game crashed and that's where I got all the bamboo for scaffolding but for some reason the area is not mapped it's like I never was here but I did explore here The little things, right? The little things that get you. I mean, who cares about the fact that you can craft nuclear reactors and uh, atomic physics in this game? No, they managed to make it generate the cliff, like in real life. That's amazing.
I uh, read somewhere that in this flower circle thingy, if you dig, uh, apparently, why? I don't know. If you dig down, you will find diamonds or emeralds or something like that. We have a jetpack, that's why we can afford to mine straight down. Oh, emerald. So we found emerald. Carrots, didn't we? And we're doing anything else but finding carrots. So, back to our carrots. found a village. I should leave the doors open so I can remember where I was. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I missed one or two. I'll just um, keep on exploring. Why are you not following? Okay. So we need to go backwards a bit. Make sure that that's a coast. Is it? coast it seems to be warm ocean yeah I even like the color of the water it's nice I believe this is a dungeon, right? We haven't done much exploring in this uh, game yet, so I might um, see if I can get a carrot in the dungeon, because zombies, I believe, have a chance of dropping a carrot.
Ooh, I'm out of I found a carrot! I found a carrot! Mission accomplished! We found the carrot! We have found a carrot! Uh, so sticks... No, I, I... Never mind. Um, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, I have half health. Half a bar health. I'm gonna die from anything. Um, Alright guys, so we teleported back home because um, I kept on exploring and crafting and making food along the way. But um, I reached a certain point where there were like four spawners on one side of a tiny room like this. Four spawners there, four spawners there, and they were like spamming zombies. I think they were like at least a hundred creatures there. I thought there's a, a limit for how many spawns they can get at the same time, but I guess not because they were very, very, very crowded. I mean, it was a lot of, of creatures there. I actually kind of died a few times, and it's a pain to get there because I uh, I, I don't want to take lightning and leave it there and die and go without it. So. Without a jetpack, I I literally had to walk three times over there, and it's boring, and it's tedious, and I don't feel like it anymore, so... We might go exploring again, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say right now. Basically, we have reached the time limit for this episode, so unfortunately, I'm sorry. Uh, we gotta move to the next episode. Well. At least we did some exploring and we found our little carrot so we can have a separate farm next to our wheat and stuff like that and just um, make sure that we always have uh, carrots because seeds you might get out of grass but carrots and potatoes mm, not so easy so mission, mission accomplished we got our carrot back and next episode we'll well, I'll tweak the farm off camera and see how it goes with the uh, feeding trough and, you know, I'll test and see what the best outcome is and, yeah, um, we'll see you next episode. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, um, I hope you liked it, my content and let me know if you have any ideas or uh, paths or directions that you would like me to take or any advice of any matter so yeah thanks for watching you're amazing